going on everybody another ride home review with Paul and uh, uh, this uh, this week I decided to go and see chips uh, starring uh, Michael Pena Vincent D'Onofrio Kristen Bell and Dax Shepard who also happened to write and direct this film uh, basically obviously for those who didn't know it's a take on the old TV show Chips, but with a little bit of a twist in which the Michael Pena character of Poncharelli, which is a um, actually a uh, alias because he's an FBI agent, um, assigned to uh, figure out uh, some crimes on the West Coast. So, what did I like about this movie? First of all, um, I was afraid that it was going to be trailer funny in other words all the funny parts were in the trailer and that's what you saw and you got disappointed with the movie that wasn't necessarily the case in this because a lot of the stuff that uh, that was comedic uh you really couldn't put in a trailer so um so there was uh there was that um uh, uh other than the My michael pena being michael pena if you're a fan of him which i am yeah you won't be disappointed um uh, the movie is pretty funny, but all in all, uh, what I didn't like about the movie was that uh, some of the jokes got old. Um, uh, some of the situations were just rehash situations. Um, yeah, it's just, it's basically what you probably have thought if you saw the trailer and um, and what it's about. Um, the motor, uh, the chase scenes and some of the action scenes were really entertaining i was a little bit surprised by that I was taken taken a little bit by surprise um and how they did that and how that was all set up but like i said i mean um for a comedy um uh, it was all right i i didn't really think that the the dax shepherd was was actually the best choice even though it was his movie um i just didn't think he had some of the he, he gave you what dax shepherd gives so what you expect is you know what you're gonna get um uh but i don't know i don't think that him and pena were completely tight and some of the some of the dialogue seemed a bit forced um uh you know trying to hit a punchline, and uh i don't know and that throws off the timing um some of it was good some of the foreshadowing with the comedy was good but all in all the the, the forced dialogue really threw it off so that was one thing that I didn't really care for but like I said you'll be surprised with a lot of the action scenes and a lot of the chase scenes and so uh, but uh, one thing to watch for in this movie <laughs> there's a scene with Ed Begley Jr. that was pretty damn funny uh, I must say but um, this is a this is a rated R comedy and there's a reason for it so so be forewarned there's a lot of a lot of crazy jokes and a lot of situations that you're like mm, okay all right then but um it's a, a typical comedy of this vein but um do you need to go to the theater to watch this no although some of the chase scenes are pretty cool but do you need to get paid theater pricing for this no it was it was okay not, not. I wouldn't say this was the the cream to the cream of uh, Michael Pena, uh, but uh, and there wasn't enough Kristen Bell. I think, I think they really made her one dimensional on purpose. But I thought it was kind of odd. She's pretty talented, and I don't think she had enough of a role, and she got annoying towards the end. But that's my thought. So uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I appreciate the kind words that folks have uh, given me about this. So, well, if you've seen Chips, what did you think? What were your thoughts on that? Um, and so just, just drop me a line. Uh, I enjoy doing this and I, I, like, I like hearing what you guys think as well. So um, next week is another one up in the air. I guess uh, I don't know what I'm going to go see yet, uh, but where to find me. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.